to seek that common good. May God be with you in this work. Thank you. The next item of business is consideration of business motion number 13421. In the name of Joe Fitzpatrick, on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau, setting out a revision to today's business programme. Any member who wishes to speak against the motion should press the request to speak button now. I call on Joe Fitzpatrick to move motion number 13421. Formally moved. Thank you. Patrick Harvey has indicated he wishes to speak against the motion, so I now call Patrick Harvey. Mr Harvey, you have up to five minutes. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I'll, I'll need nothing like five minutes. Uh, I simply question uh, why we're being asked to, to change uh, business, to move the ministerial statement on publication of the greenhouse gas inventory to later this afternoon. Opposition parties were initially approached uh, on the basis that this move was necessary to allow the Rural Affairs, Climate Change and Environment Committee members to return uh, from a, a visit to Orkney. I see that several members of that committee are in the chamber at the moment uh, and would have been able to ask questions on a ministerial statement of this nature. Uh, it seems to me more likely, given the events of the day, uh, that the reason for the change in this is to allow the government to make policy announcements to the media, which have happened over lunchtime, the, the Minister for Parliamentary Business is shaking his head. He'll have a, an opportunity to answer in a moment. But we're very aware that policy announcements have been made over the course of lunchtime to the media, embargoed, so that members of this chamber are not able to be aware of that before the media. It seems to me that the reason why the government wishes to change the timing of this motion is to spend the day managing the press presentation of it, uh, rather than answering difficult questions on an important topic after yet another failed climate change target. I now call Joe Fitzpatrick to respond. Minister, you have up to five minutes. First of all, to be absolutely clear, um, the government would have been absolutely delighted for the statement to continue as was. However, requests came in um, first from um, members of the Raki Committee, who are members of the SNP, uh, Graham Day, uh, and secondly from um, James Kelly on behalf of members of the Raki Committee. Sarah Boyack, and thirdly, from Alison McInnes on behalf of Liberal Democrat members. It's not just about whether people could physically be here, because we were aware that the timings would just about allow people to be here for 2.40 for um, or 2 o'clock. Um, however, it was about making sure that those people who were spokespeople, who, um, as a courtesy, the government gives a copy of the statement an hour in advance, would not be able to properly process um, the... the, the um, that, that statement um, prior to having to come into the chamber and answer questions. On, on, the, on the point about um, the statistics, the, the statement this after, afternoon um, is in connection with the statistics. The statistics were published at 9.30 this morning and are, are produced independently. The Code of Practice for Official Statistics states that the issue of statistical release um, at the standard time of 9.30am on a weekday is to maintain consistency and to permit time for users to understand and respond to the information during normal working hours. The government press release on those statistics was issued at 9.51am, of, of which that statement refers only to the statistics which had been published. The Green Party themselves issued a press statement based on the same statistical release. When the Minister makes her statement this afternoon, as well as updating Parliament on the statistics and progress being made, she will announce details of further measures that the Government will take to tackle emissions. Presiding officer, I would call on Patrick Harvey to reconsider his opposition um, of the business motion, which in fact would only change the timing of the statement to make it happen at, at, at 2.40 and, and it would make no other changes. Um, I understand some of the members from, um, from the Raki Committee would be in a position to be in the Chamber and, and ask questions, but I'm not convinced that the spokespeople of all the parties would have had time to fully consider the statement in, in advance, as we always try to do that as a matter of courtesy. courtesy. So I um, hope the Chamber will support the change to the business as supported by Bureau this morning. Thank you. I now put the question to the Chamber. The question is that motion number 13421, 
In the name of Joe Fitzpatrick, be agreed to. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed. I therefore suspend the meeting for five minutes to allow the division bell to be rung.
Order. We now move to the vote on motion number 13421. Members should cast their votes now. The result of the vote on motion number 13421 in the name of Joe Fitzpatrick is as follows. Yes, 97. No, 4. There were no abstentions. The motion is therefore agreed to. We now move to topical questions. I'll just give a few moments for... The